Hello guys, Alvaro here. I want to show you in this video how to use the drop effect in full page. First of all, what is the drop effect? Well, the drop effect is basically this effect that makes the website looks like a drop is coming from the top or from the bottom. It's totally configurable. You can change both the color, the speed, and even in which sections or slides you want to apply it. All right, so let's go to the editor. Here we can see our drop effect file that we got when we purchased the extension. Let's create the index file and let's add the bootstrap structure. We're going to create the basic structure for full page. We're going to add a wrapper with the full page ID. Inside, we're going to add three different sections. The second one is going to contain three different slides. Now we add a bit of text in order to add a bit of context. And let's proceed to import the files that we need in order to use full page. First, we're going to import the CSS file. I'm going to do it directly from a CDN link, but you can use any other hosting or you can just place the, the HTML directly if you prefer. Then I'm going to import the JavaScript files that full page requires. In this case, instead of fullpage.js, I'm going to import fullpage.extensions.min.js. This file, you can also find it on the CDN, as well as on the GitHub repository, NPM, and so on. And now let's finally add our drop effect file before importing the full page file. Now let's go and add the new script tag where we can place our full page initialization. And let's call full page to make sure that our setup is already working. We can see it's working, although we don't have any styles. So let's add a few styles and a bit more of color so we can get a better idea of how this is looking. It's looking great. Let's try now to add the drop effect and see how it looks. So all we have to do is add a new option on the full page initialization that says drop effect true. Now let's take a look and see if it worked. Okay, we can see it's working. Now uh, let's change the color to make it a bit more easy to visualize. In order to do so, we are going to add a new option, drop effect options. In here, we will be able to add a new property, color, and then define the color we want. We can use any value that CSS admits as a color. It can be text, hexadecimal, RGB, whatever. Now let's see if it worked. Great. Now let's try to change the speed. To do so, we add the speed property and we set the value in milliseconds. In this case, we're gonna add 6,000 milliseconds. This should slow down the animation. Let's see how it looks. Now the animation is quite slow. So let's go back and revert the changes. We use a faster speed. And now let's try to apply the drop effect only on certain sections. To do so, we have to go to the section where we want to apply the effect and use the attribute data drop. We can set different values to it, all, down, or up. In this case, we're gonna set the value down because we only want to apply the effect when we are scrolling down. Let's also add the navigation for demo purposes so we can know in which slide we are in when I'm showing you the demo. So let's take a look at it. Now, if we want to apply the effect also when scrolling up from the second section, all we have to do is add the attribute again to the second section, data drop, and then use the value up. Now we can see how if we scroll down, we have the effect. If we keep on scrolling down, we do not have it anymore. But if we scroll up from the second section, we can see the effect taking place again. Now, what if we want to disable the effect on mobile devices? in smaller screen devices. Well, it's very easy. For that, we only have to use the option responsive width or responsive height that are available in full page. And when doing so, the effect will automatically get disabled as well as the snap effect. Let's take a look. Let's add the responsive width option with a width of 1000 pixels, which means that under 1000 pixels, the effect will get turned down. Let's take a look at it. All right, seems to be working. Great. Now, if we resize up the window, we'll notice that the effect gets applied again. 
which means it's working. Now, let's move into something a bit more advanced. What if we want to dynamically change the options that we are applying to the drop effect? Well, uh, let's take a look at it. Let's create the button on the first section. So whenever we click on it, we can change the color of the drop effect. Now we're going to create an event handler. And then we apply to it the set option option that drop effect provides. We're going to pass the parameters color and then the color. Let's see how it looks. Now we click on the button and we can see how now the color is yellow. Awesome. We can apply the same setting any other option. We can, for example, change the speed and make it slower and it works perfectly. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you here is how to use callbacks. What if you want to fire some action whenever the drop effect is leaving from the screen before it loads the next slide? Well, for that we can use different callbacks. First one would be the drop leaves that admits the different parameters such as origin, destination and direction. And then we have another one, drop ends, which is very similar to after load and almost gets fired at the same time. Without getting into too much detail, I want to show you when it gets fired and what parameters do I receive from it. We open the JavaScript console in Chrome DevTools and here we can see how the information gets printed before arriving to the next section, exactly at the moment where the drop effect is leaving the window. And because the drop effect also supports horizontal sliding, what we can do here is tell full page that we only want to apply the effect on the vertical slides. So let's go and change the property true to sections, which makes reference to the vertical ones. Now we can see how the effects only applies vertically and not horizontally. We can do the reverse and apply the effect only horizontally. So if we type slides, now we can see the effect only applies on the slides and not on the vertical sections. So as you can see, this effect is quite easy to apply. It's only adding one single option. It allows you to configure multiple things and the whole code that you have to use in order to create this amazing effect is just a few lines of code. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can ask on the comments. Thank you.